Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion Node Breakdown. Today's node is the HSL Keyer. And this is a DaVinci Resolve effect available within Fusion. So we're going to jump into Fusion. We got some footage. And we're going to say we need to key out this uh, aqua bluish background here. Or her yellow shirt. I don't know. Whatever you got to key out, <laughs> it's a keyer. So let's go ahead and add a shift space HSL keyer. And on the keyer itself, we've got the ability to select or pick our color. Now, how this picker works is we just select it and you don't want to just click and select a color because you're not going to be able to reselect different color because every time you click, it's just selecting different colors and resetting the picker. So if you want to pick a color, select the pick, click and drag to pick all the colors you want. And that is your initial key. Additionally, we have subtract, so we can select this to subtract. We can add additional colors or we could subtract soft or add soft. And what that is doing is, is just getting your high and low levels of that color. And down here, we have the ability to reset. Under our keyer options, we can select whether we want to use hue, saturation, or luminance. Hence the name HSL keyer. So we can use or not use the hue, use or not use the saturation, use or not use the luminance. Under matte finesse, we've got uh, two sub menus here for finessing our matte. And under the first one, we have this pre-filter, which is just going to apply a pre-filter to get rid of some of this jagged stuff within our uh, footage here. So let me zoom in a little more. And if I use pre-filter and increase it, you can see it's getting rid of some of that jaggedness in there. If I clean the black, it's actually going to clean the uh, white levels out of the blacks. And vice versa with clean whites, it's going to clean up the black levels. And that's not color. When, it, when we say clean black and clean white, we mean clean the black and clean the white of our alpha. So if I select this. This is cleaning the black and this is cleaning the white. Under that we have a black clip and white clip so we can alter the uh, original black clip and white clip of the footage. We can add a blur radius and we can change our in out ratio of that blur or of that uh, key. Under the second menu here, we have uh, multiple morph operations and by default it's set to closing. So if I add to our morph radius, it's going to adjust the closing of those, which means it's going to open it up. If I adjust it, if I select opening and adjust it, it's going to fix any openings, which means it's actually going to close in on those non openings. And let me see if I can find an actual opening. Yeah, like kind of in here. So if I minimize those, you can see it's fixing those openings. And right here, I can grow it. Or I can shrink it. Under here, we can denoise our original footage. We can change our shadow levels of our original footage. So as I increase this, it's going to change the shadow levels. And let me go ahead and fit. It's changing the shadow levels of our original footage, which is resulting in change to our keyer. Same with changing the midtone levels and the highlight levels. And under that, we have post filter which is going to uh, create a final cleanup of the key after we're done finessing it and getting it the way we want it to look. And obviously this is not how we would want this to look. So you'd want to come in here and fix it a little bit, clean up our blacks. and try to get our key where we want. 
Under that, we have a garbage mat. And if you notice, there is no input for a garbage mat here. So this is just our effect mask. So if we bring in a mask and input it, that means it's only affecting where we input that mask at. But it is not used for a garbage mat. The garbage mat has two options, which is rectangle. So it's going to create a rectangle to use as a garbage mat. So we can move it where we want. You can invert it so we can create a garbage mat around our subject there. We can change the center, the bounding width, bounding height, and we can also change the rotation. And additionally, we can change the edge softness of our garbage mat. And we can also use an ellipse to do the same thing with all the same settings. Under our output, we have uh, three options. We have alpha highlight to highlight our uh, key. We have alpha highlight black and white, so we can see a black and white version of our key. And we have final composite. Now the HSL keyer is efficient, but it honestly works better when it's used in the color grading tab. It doesn't work as well in Fusion. So you have many other keyers with Infusion to use, but in case you need to use the HSL keyer, that is the HSL keyer node breakdown. I will see you in the next node breakdown.